I was thinking today about what God was revealing to me and some of the things that he wants me to say on this video. I don't know if any of you have noticed, but on, on YouTube, you will see tarot card readers. Oh, I'm sure you you could find a lot more horoscope, uh, all kinds of things. I had told you before, astrology is a witch's religion. Not all witches, but a witch's religion. I told you before that there is no good witch and no bad witch. They both come from the angel of, of light. They both come from the devil. But the sad part about this thing that you people don't know or understand is the damage that is done to your whole life when you play with ESP, Transcendental Meditation, anything. Oh, you, it seemed for a while that it's okay. Or picking up a regular deck of cards and reading them. Or picking up tarot cards. Or doing Ouija boards. Once you touch it, just touch it. You have done something, not just to your life, but you've done it to the life of your babies. You've done it to the life of your parents. You've done it to the life of your grandchildren. You've done so much damage because what you have done is you have gone to the devil for information that can only come from God. God had told me once that women, especially women, who turn to the devil, they go to God and they claim to be Christian. And they try to manipulate God to answer their prayers. They try to do things and say things that will cause God to pay attention to them, cause God to do things for them. And waiting on God, because some of them will sit and wait on God, they get fed up with waiting. They get tired. They get weary. Like the Bible says, they become wanton. They, I want this. Uh, I want this man. I want that. And they start playing with things that belong to God and start using them towards the flesh. They start using them to see the future, which is fortune telling. They start using prophecy to do what they want. And because they were in witchcraft before and they were in the occult before, they figure, <laughs> you know, this is the same thing. You know, the only thing is we could use the name of Jesus Christ. We could go, and this is what happens. Well, so now you're in a double hell. But I want you to know, there has not been a single person in my life anywhere that I did not see go down from workings of witchcraft. In the old days, the teachings were, well, if you touch that devil and you touched his territory, it's going to come back on you. Well, you know, the devil does have a backlash. But when you belong to Jesus Christ, that backlash is way over there. Can't come near you. Because you see, the devil can't touch the blood of Jesus Christ. I had said it before. I will say it again. The blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful. It's like throwing acid in the face of Satan. Now, you can plead the blood of Jesus Christ and claim you're a Christian and it'll do nothing for you because you're only claiming to be a Christian and the enemy knows it. You can plead the blood of Jesus Christ because you heard somewhere that you need to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. For in Peter it says it's the sinner's perfect plea. But you see the blood of Jesus Christ comes upon every soul that gives their life to him. Every soul that belongs to Jesus Christ and asks him into their life and asks God to forgive them for all of their sins. That moment is the moment that the blood of Jesus Christ covers all of their past, all of their present. <clears throat> and whenever the Lord, when, I, I, the, the Lord is one thing seeing them, but um, whenever the enemy sees them, 
there is the blood and and the what the blood says to the enemy is hands off this is mine but you see a lot of people they don't believe that a lot of people believe that even though they gave their life to God that Satan has power over them that Satan can do this to them and they must resist the devil so that he can flee well I'm going to tell you why they resist the devil they resist him in their minds because they have a memory of him and what he did they resist him in the evil imagination of their heart because that heart has a memory of what they did but as far as resisting them to keep his hands off of them the blood already does that but because you don't really believe that whenever Jesus came into your heart you don't believe that he took care of this that his blood covers you that the enemy can't touch you you don't believe that you say you do you confess before God that you do but you don't believe it and because you don't believe it the enemy comes knocking at your door and he knocks hard he uses your past he uses your feelings he uses your imagination he uses fear he uses unbelief he uses all of those things to attack you and the reason why he does that is because he knows you lied you he knows you said I believe Lord I'm gonna go this way and as soon as adversity comes you fall apart you fall apart just like the Word of God says some the seed is sown on good ground and some tribulation comes and it's gone you no longer have that well see some of you when the tribulation comes and it's gone then you start seeking other things because of your old past of running here and running there you start thinking think, thinking well maybe God didn't mean what he said maybe God works in other ways maybe just maybe he works along with the devil and is able to do these things maybe if I seek the devil since God made everything he also made the devil maybe if I seek this supernatural power of the devil then I'll be all right oh, you talk about the worst mistake of your life because once you taint your soul with any one of the things that I have mentioned and you marked your soul now if you didn't really realize what you were doing and you didn't really understand it that's one thing God's a lot more merciful to you but if you know what you were doing and you deliberate you deliberately turn your back on God that is yet yet another thing but I promise you in the name of Jesus Christ all of the tarot card readers all of the devils that play games with reading cards Ouija boards and all of that you're going down you're not coming up you're going to go down oh you think you have such success you think that because you sit in this church and you're able to do this and work it on other people you see it because you think because you work in this church and this doctrine and that doctrine that nobody knows or sees that you're really of the devil and they never bother to search you out they look at you and they you, you think they are so stupid because they look at you and they see another Christian who, with a kind heart like, like them that loves God now I'm not talking about witches being only in the church I'm talking about witches anywhere God says suffer not a witch to live that means do not endure their existence well how do you do that how do you endure their existence that is by putting up with them and tolerating them in your life when you see obviously God reveals to you it's a work of witchcraft here it's a work of witchcraft there and you can't get out of it why because you don't believe God gave you the power you believe them if you touch me you're going to get it that's what you believe but it's not true none of it is true 
I told you before, all the devil has is deception. He can't touch you. He come, cannot come back into your life unless you let him. When God puts you under the shadow of his wing, which is covers your sins with the blood, when he does that, that's a one-time sealed thing. But you break the seal by believing this one, believing that one. Every time the wind blows, there you are. Oh, this must be God. Oh, that must be God. And you're getting caught up in a lot of witchcraft. That, that's what you're doing. Your mind must be settled down and it must be healed and delivered. It must know what is true and what isn't. What is true? What is truth? Truth is Jesus Christ. Well, who is Jesus Christ? He is the purest of pure, the holiest of holies. He is never, never would touch even a a shadow of sin. Never would touch even to look at a woman to lust after her, let alone desire to marry her, let alone desire to sleep with her. He, he wouldn't do that. He would not preach in one thing and then do another. That's, that's how you know who God is. You know that when the doctrine comes out and tells you that it is wrong to murder, to destroy and it tells you that plainly that God is so pure don't do those things and then the doctrine comes along and says yeah but it'll be okay if you do it I mean this is how the devil manifests himself everywhere yeah but it'll be all right if you play with that Ouija board that's only a game it's okay if you play with this and play with that all it is okay so you read a few cards what is it what is it well you are calling forth Satan, you are calling the devil. The moment you pick things up to play with, you have called him into your life. And when he gets done with you, you will wish to God you never touched him. Because there is a special reward that in this life you suffer for doing this. Believe me or not believe me, it doesn't matter. But when you listen to somebody who reads tarot cards, somebody, well, you know, we know that it's not true. Well, you know, isn't it funny how when you read your horoscope, everything seems to fall into place? Well, it seems to fall into place because of your faith in it. Because your faith and your belief have a belief system. And when it comes to the end of what you have is gone, suddenly tragedy Everything else that comes, you can't handle it. You can't, I don't care how many things you read, they're not going to change anything. I don't care how many times you meditate, it's not going to change anything. Because now God says, will I not visit this sin? Will I not come and visit? Now, if you have influenced people around you to believe you, and you worked your witchcraft to get a hold of them well you know they have to answer to God for what they do in listening to you me I don't want no parts of them there is none I will not suffer a witch to live in the realm of their evil you don't call me you don't come near me you don't have that power I belong to Jesus Christ And because I do, you can't come near me. For here is how the devil sees the blood on my life. (gasps) That's how he sees it. And that demon that you have. And I've given testimonies before how I I was stood in this, uh, oh, how could I say? It it was like a big game room, a big at at a resort. And it was just a big room. It could have been there, the way they, you know, hold their dances and stuff. So in this huge room, I'm sitting in in the hall, I'm standing in the hall, and I, God says, witness to that man. And I did. And as I'm witnessing to him, clear across the other way, on the peripheral, peripheral vision of my eye for a few seconds, I could see she went like this, oh, when she realized a Christian was actually witnessing to her husband. 
she come running full force. She was going to attack me like you never saw. And every demon in hell she had was aimed right at me. And I knew it. Oh, I didn't feel the impact. or the, But I felt it, believing that. And so when she came running full force to stop me, what I did was is I just focused on God without trying, just being myself, and was continuing to give him the message in great peace. And she come right up to me this close, and boy, she was going to give it to me. And I'm going to tell you what, I, if you can't do a couple of things in the spirit at the same time, I, I don't know what, what your, uh, how much of God you have. But I was looking at him and smiling and continuing. She just went right there and she went. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. She couldn't open up her mouth. I did not have to bind her. Jesus in me kept her bound. I did not have to say one thing to her. And I did not shut up till I was done with the message. Because that may have, I may see that man in heaven. I may see him saved. Because I don't think he even knew his wife was a witch. And so, until I finished it completely. And then I walked away in peace. I didn't have to dust my feet off on her. I didn't have to aim anything at her. I didn't have to stop her. I didn't. God did it all. Like in the book of Jude, it said, Michael the archangel dared not use railing accusations at Satan. All he did was said, The Lord rebuked thee. The Lord rebuked her. Understand this, you demons that are on YouTube. Understand the Lord rebukes you, not me. So when you attack me, <laughs> have at it. Because in that kind of thing, <laughs> wow, I just, that was a praise report. A uh, praise report from someone that needed something so badly. And they called me up to let me know it was coming about. So we just had prayer yesterday for it. And it's happening today. And more is going to happen for a lot of people. Uh, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I am laughing. I am laughing at Satan thinking that he could use people to stop what God has intended, not just for my life, but for the life of those people who love the Lord. <laughs> I've watched, I've stood in the presence of God, and I've watched Jesus literally laugh in the face of Satan. He didn't have to say a word. He just laughed like... <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're facing somebody that's so dumb, thinks that they could do something, and you don't even have to rebuke them, you just laugh. Well, that's the Lord. Oh, praise God. Praise his holy name. So I, I want to continue this, this uh, message about touching things that belong to Satan. If you've done that in ignorance then go before God and ask him with all of your heart to forgive you and clean you out. Get, open up your heart and mind and understand how to bind Satan's power to continue in it. There is so much to it that you have to do because what you've done is you said, God, I don't want you and I don't need you. And you are going to have to prove to God, no matter what you go through, you're going to have to prove you want him this time for real. It's not a matter of you just being afraid of him. Because if you're afraid of him, and, and, and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm telling you, when God is betrayed by someone, I mean literally betrayed, you have to go through a period of time where you prove yourself, I will never do it again. And you might have to go through some things that you will never choose to do that again. 
and those that are leading you and guiding you by your permission. I've said it before. I've said it again. It's all by your permission, by your choice. It is all something that you have decided to do. And you don't want to be doing that. You need to choose Jesus Christ. You need to get his favor. The Bible also says that if you knew the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and you understood salvation, a lot of people don't even understand salvation, and you understood salvation, there is no more sacrifice for your sins. That when you tramp on the blood, there is nothing more that you could do that is as bad as that. So ask God if you did that in ignorance. Seek God to see if you did anything in ignorance because those things can be done in ignorance and when it's in ignorance, God can be merciful. And ask God to give you a merciful heart ask God to help you to get out of the things you've done to yourself because you see a lot of people like the man that or or woman that commits adultery I'm not hurting anybody but myself of course you are you are allowing and inviting Satan into your whole life your whole life so if you have children they're tempted in a way that they would never be tempted if you're behind the pulpit you are tempting your children that are supposed to be of God in a way that they could never be tempted so you you it is not true that you're only hurting yourself you are hurting everybody around you by your choices and that makes you have to pay a mighty mighty big price The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and a good understanding have all they that fear the Lord. Go look at Psalm 19. Go look at Psalm 51. Every sin that you committed, you committed against God. Jesus Christ bought you with a price. And if you made a decision to go elsewhere for information, you're playing with fire. You are playing with God, and God will not be played with. God is the living God. It's the living word. It's the living truth. It's the living way. It's the living wife, a life. There's no way that you could possibly twist and turn anything around to say it is not this way. I pray if you've done this in ignorance that God lead you to repentance and give you the grace and the power to get out of it. I pray that that if you are under the attack and under the power of these kind of people that God give you unusual wisdom to defy them and not believe that they can dare touch you because you belong to Jesus Christ. I pray for so many different people today in the name of Jesus Christ